Hallo jelle. Ik heb een probleem. Ik kan niet stilstaan. Ik so ga mijn best proberen om hier te blijven vandaag, zodat so jullie mij kan hoor. Um, dit is rechtig wonderlijk om hier te wees. Gewoonlijk vat de twee uren om mensen die rond school te vat. En hier die klok, ik heb gehoord hulle vergeten om hem aan te zetten. Maar kom eens kijken waar ons uitkom. So, ons story in Bonnyville het begin door een boer wat gesê het, kom ons bij ons uit je school, want ons is nou so moeg om elke jaar te zien hoe toi toi ons mensen in die dorp, um, want daar is die plek vir ons kinders in school nie. En die wonderlijke ding van dit is, die boer is niet die jero nie, die hele dorp het die jero's geword van ons gemeenschap, van ons moest handen oprol of mouwe oprol en ons moest doen wat ons hand vindt om te doen. So ek gaan my best probeer om vir julle die beste weergave te gee. So ons ding in Bonneville was om oplossings te vind vir basisse onderwijs in Zuid-Afrika en ons glo dat vaardighede is een van die oplossings. So dit is Bonneville vir die van julle wat jy weet waar dit is nie. Jinochie daar was, kom keier vir ons, ons het baie lekker wijn en kaas. Die grootste kaasfabriek in die suidelike halfrond. Omdat ek alleen nie is vandag, het ek gedink, ek gaan julle op een klein trippie vaat Bonneville toe. Want dit was nie dier een mens wat een visie gehad het. Dit was rechtig een dorp wat by mekaar gekom het. En ek wil hier een paar van hulle moet vir julle die story vertel. Have you thought of what you want to become one day? Bonneville is like an island. It's a small community of say 10, 12,000 people. Families we find are without a father figure. So a single mom trying to make it work. And that desperation leads to children growing up with uncertainty in the home. And there's always a lack of what is possible. Bonneville 418 is a beautiful office right in the heart of Bonneville. And our single greatest goal is a yield community and zero youth unemployment by 2030. We want 100% partakers in the economy. Zero dropout, zero youth unemployment. First of all, would be to restore self-worth, um, to make everyone understand you are important, you are of value. And then once self-worth is restored, then to uh, invest in character and good decision-making, um, to embrace delayed gratification, to, to dream and to work hard towards your dreams. And then skills, what skills? could actually restore your dignity when you feel that you can conquer something. You can make something with your hands. Education focused on local employer needs. That's what we're aiming to do. We've gone a long way to, you know, to implement things that would make our children more employable. It is important for us to work uh, with places like 418 um, to identify people uh, beforehand and we can uh, work with them to upskill the people and to take them into our system and for them to, to, to grow in, in the company. Uh, whoever's out there doesn't have to have matric. If he can read and write and is motivated, um, that is the criteria I look for. Those skills could then be adapted and the guys could go work anywhere with those specific uh, uh, set of skills. What we see is with the, with the skills guys are that they walk into a job and they, they make something, they're proud of it. When they actually realize or get a dream or something to aim at, have a target in life, they start to be more focused and that child is a different person. When that light switch flip, it's really fulfilling to see. I know we've started something that is the hope for a lot of other people as well. It's not just something that, that can heal Bonneville, but it is something that can heal, I believe, South Africa. That is the role of 418. 418 comes from scripture, Luke um, 418, that says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He has anointed me to share good news with the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to, to set the captives free, um, to restore vision to the blind, 
and, and to, to announce a new chapter. And so it's a socio-economic restoration vision that starts with education, but it actually touches everything in the local economy. I think it will be amazing to see what's going to happen when, when these youngsters are the heads of families, who are the leaders in, in the community, who are the leaders in the local government, and the raising a next generation with a new mindset. I think that's very exciting. I want to take you back just uh, before the school was built. You've heard the rest of the team talk about what we're trying to do in Bonneville. But this was the picture in prior to 2016 when we start of our own children sitting on the corners of the street without any hope. The challenge from the Western Cape Education Department when we uh, approached them was maybe in 10 years time we can help you to build a school, but there is a collaboration option 4060. If you raise 60% of the money, we will um, help you. We took on the challenge. We procured land within a week, 12 hectares, community support. We had a sustainable plan, and that was the first 15 people that actually were the heroes. And then we believe God never gives you a dream that matches your budget. He's not checking your bank account. He's checking your faith. And it really worked for us in Bonneville. We managed to build a high school, three in one, an agricultural school, a technical high school, and a school of skills of 150 million within three years' time. That, that is 2017, June. We started to build, because we couldn't build before that, uh, because it was agricultural land. December 2017, the, the first part of our school was finished and we opened in 2018 with 240 learners. There they are. Today, we have, that is the complete school now, um, we have 780 learners in that school um, today. We have children all over South Africa in universities, in TVET colleges. Um, I'm not going to go there, there's no time left for me. That is the mainstream matric plan. Then we have the vocational one. The School of Skills is one of the schools that, or one of the streams that gives our children the most hope because they do not have academic abilities, but they have skills, they get jobs, they are placed. These two boys was in matric. Um, the best in their class with electrical and uh, technical maths and science, and they are currently studying at Soltec in Pretoria. There's hope for our children, that is what we believe, and these are the faces. Do you see the difference from that first picture? And my time is up, but after we've built the school, we realize we need more, and we start the Bonneville 418 office, where every child in Bonneville, in all nine primary schools, are now getting quality education because we realize we cannot invest in one school and have this amazing thing on top of a hill as if it's a castle. We need to invest in every school in Bonneville, and that is what we currently do, two high schools, nine primary schools, and this is the team. We started this office 2020 uh, with four people. It has grown out to 16 full-time employees, helping our youth to become really something that will turn this nation around. And the sharing part is where I currently work in, and we help other communities to do what we have done in Bonneville. Our first project was traced by, um, where we built a school of skills for 120 learners. And the lessons we have learned was we must guard our unity with all we have. That is the most important thing. It's not about who started the project or who completed the project. It is about everybody rolling up their sleeves, making sure that everybody in our community can be a part, and the question remains, what is in your hand and what are you willing to give? So in our case, it was, even if, you, if you're given 
two rand fifty to build a brick, I think it must be ten rand by now. Uh, or if you took out vineyards, or doesn't matter what you've done, you can do something in your community to change your community. Thank you. Thank you.